All right, this is new material, but you're always going to have a little bit of oxidation, so you're going to want to clean this just a little bit with some sandpaper before you do the soldering process. Just clean it just a little bit. And uh, get the residue off it. Now, the other thing is on the board that we're putting these on, it's a good idea to take an abrasive pad, you can see over here, and just clean that hole out. Again, just so that we know we're going to get good solder wetting. You see the difference there where I've wiped it and where it hasn't been. It definitely does have some oxides on it. We're going to take this uh, paste solder and we're going to use this syringe and we're going to squeeze it right around the edge of this uh, bushing. And we don't need a lot, but we want to be sure we have enough there so that when it flows it's going to kind of fill the gap in there on the board. Okay? Something like that. Now, did you go all the way around the circumference of that part, or it was hard to I, tell I, from... I did go all the way around on the one I'm doing up here. Okay. Okay. On the other one, I just want to give it this, uh, it's just a visual, what I'm doing. You tricked us. I tricked you. Okay. Now, this is still going to be a, a, a kind of a long cycle for this, just because it's such a big mass of copper here. And I'll try and orient the handpiece in a way that you can still see what's going on with this bushing. While I do it, I've got my run light tied into this. You can see the actual dwell time that it takes to do this this uh, soldering. This is our high capacity plier style system, model one o five o five. Yeah, we can see that. Okay. 